which is a great opportunity for me to take a rank average photograph. She does look like shadow, I think. Calling the youngsters, so maybe they'll pitch up. keep an eye out. I'm so irritated with myself that I left the binoculars behind. I'm going to guess that they're behind the termite mound to the left of where she's looking now. I think they might be coming from there. Anyway, let's wait and see what happens. In theory, if the cubs arrive, it's a one vehicle sighting, but because she's called them to us, I think we'll probably just sit here and see what happens. Just keeping an eye out. She looked like she wanted to go back up to the top of the tree. Calling and calling and calling and calling. <laughs> you may have heard Yours's camera going there. Yours takes some beautiful pictures. But he just fired off about 700 for that last one. I've taken one, of course, with my ultra slow camera. Calling, calling, calling. I bet if I had the binoculars I could spot them. Lurking in the shadows. She's going to go up, Brian. Are you ready? I'm not. She's a rather splendid looking lady. I don't know why she's just calling like that and why they don't come. Sally, you're in Oregon, and you say, come cubbies, please, and I say the same thing, come on cubbies. <laughs> Isn't that cool? <laughs> I'm just laughing at the, um, the number of pictures that you also managed to take there. In the same time that it takes me to take one picture, he must have taken 77. Let's just go back a little bit. <laughs> James Richard, do you want to know if she's hoisted the kill? Yes, she has indeed. It's that sort of hangy bit there on the right-hand side of the picture. Well, she's still calling them, so we'll just stop over here, I think. Now, we can't go on to Torchwood, and we're, so we're on the fire break now, and I can't go around the other side of her. So we're just going to wait here and see what she does.
I knew she'd do that. <laughs> I absolutely knew it. Shall we wait? We'll go back. I'm just going to go back a little bit. Sorry, Fuzzman Sparkles, there's a lot of wind out here. I missed your question too. Tundi, pick a side. Ah. Fuzzman Sparkles, you say, how often do leopards have more than two cubs? Fuzzman Sparkles, you'll find that it probably happens, I'd say, about 50% of the time. It's not uncommon for a leopard to have three cubs. It's extremely uncommon for a leopard to actually make um, or survive with three cubs. That's absolute rubbish. It's extremely uncommon for three cubs to survive. So Fuzzman and Sparkles, that is the story with leopards. Normally it's two, sometimes it's three, so in fact I'd say 50% of the time two, 50% of the time three. Highly, highly unlikely. I've never seen a leopard raise three cubs to independence. Normally one will die. <laughs>